fighter family I came into in 2001. We're a team, grassroots, not a bunch of superstars coming together and calling ourselves a team. We've been on the bottom together and worked our way up. We are kind of a wolf pack of guys that kind of stick together and back each other up. We got something really cool and special on our team. We're friends and I think family for life. The Diaz brothers, I get to hang out with them when the cameras aren't filming. Nate and I like to goof off and, and, and have a little fun. Jake and Nick are a little more serious. And I think they've always known they wanted to be world champs. If you're talking about the best all-around athletes in the sport, I think you bring up Nick and Nate. They're warriors. I think people love that. They come forward and they come to fight. Here comes Diaz. Oh, and kick. And Stockton slap. Oh, that's some good shots here. Oh, he just, I mean, this is going to be locked. It is all over. They're constantly working. They're constantly doing a bike ride, a swim, or a, a run, and hitting pads, boxing, biking to practice. What they put in their bodies is because they want to perform better. What they talk about, what kind of videos we're watching, it just shows how mentally tough they are, how physically prepped they are. It makes me feel like I'm not working hard every time I'm around these guys. They're amazing athletes and they're inspiring as well. I think the Diaz boys have a huge fan base because people wish they can give the middle finger to their boss. People wish they can walk out and just say how they feel and be so genuine and blind. And I think people like that. People want that. Also, they just put their hearts out there as fighters. They go out there to fight. I think people are a little jealous that they can't do what they do and they hate it so much. I don't think George is hurt. I think he's scared. I think he's scared to fight everybody right now. What's up? Where are you at, George? Where are you at? He likes to get inside guys' heads. He is a trash talker with the best of them. I think these are the guys that were kind of bashed on by media for years, but still the most famous fighters out there. Someone like me, you know, media's done good for me and made me more popular. For them, you know, they don't need media, they just are popular. They're not trying to play a game. They're genuinely who they are. And if someone disrespects them, they handle it a certain way. Nick respects Warriors. I really do believe he has a respect for GSP, and why else would he fight them? You fought someone so hard, you put your heart out there, and they've done the same, and you can't help but respect the person. For him to get in his mode and for Nate to get in his mode before fight, they gotta really not like the person and they gotta do what they gotta do. But I think if they battle and they do their thing and I think Nick respects a lot of fighters. This is our life and this is what we live for. It's not a phase in our life. Fighting is a big part of our lives and that's how serious the Diaz boys and our whole team takes us. Hate them or love them, you gotta respect them. <laughs>